Now to the topic of this particular moment, Ike Ekoromado's ordeal, matters arising. Well, it all started with the organ donor thing, from there, organ transplant or organ hijacked. Our seven senator has been detained for over how many months now, and nobody is saying something close to him being released. And now we are hearing that 40 of his properties have been ordered to be forfeited. Don't forget that someone also from the Senatorial District is eyeing his position. Since this is not here, he should be shown the exit door for him to become the Senate from that particular Senatorial District. I want to start with you, Samuel. What do you feel about this? <clears throat> well, you know... Life has its own way of playing mm -hmm. this game. A quick situation, the way he started, mm -hmm. I felt pity for him. Mm -hmm. Why I felt pity? Because I believe it's his own right to find a way to see, to see the life of his own daughter. daughter. Mm -hmm. In as much as that, and when we see the, the, the comment and the statement of the boy mm -hmm. in, 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 included in involving this issue, it was not really a human trafficking situation. There was already an agreement here before they left this country to UK. Leaving this country to UK now to do this thing. Yes. The agreement went wrong. Something went wrong. In the sense that where he made a mistake, threatening to take the boy back to Nigeria. That was where the whole leakage started. That was when the boy got angry and started speaking. That everybody not got aware of what is going on. Mm. In as much as the negotiation was all going, even the negotiation in Nigeria before the boy was flowed out, mm. you, don't, you can't just see somebody on the flight and go to Europe. No. They must have procedures. Mm. The embassies must have been aware. This person is going with this person and now this thing. Mm. The parents here must have been aware. But the point where he made a mistake, you have better this boy's life. He has got into Europe. Mm. He tells you, Sir, I don't want to go back to Nigeria, please. Look for another donor. Establish him and let the life lie low. All these issues today would have not even come up. I mm. and you we still would have not even know a query model took somebody to UK to go and uh, uh, do uh, transplant mm. for a daughter and blah blah blah. We would have not even away. Mm. But it all has to do with this, our same greed, our same selfless conscience against our own people. Mm. Because you are made already. You're taking this boy back to the slum. It's like you have no human feelings. That is where God got angry with him. Is it God or the, the business went south? <laughs> God gets angry with him because you know sometimes in life, God gets angry too mm. when you are doing the wrong thing. Mm. This is a man that has accumulated the wealth of Nigeria in a mass All right. In all these years, he has been there in government. Okay. He has been the only one coming from that same senatorial district for years after years. Okay, now you have opportunity to establish just a boy, one single person, that tells you I don't want to go back to Nigeria. You said he must go back to Nigeria. But that was the agreement. Listen, whatever is in the agreement, okay. we're saying. All right. Establish the sincerity first. Trust. Then leave that point now. Mm. He's not in the trouble in the Waterloo. In UK, the laws are different from Nigeria. Mm. If it was in Nigeria, with his position, mm. he could have granted. He would have been granted bail. Mm. He would have been attending the court from home based on self recognition. Mm. But that self recognition is not there in UK. All right. They are playing the legal way, mm. the way it's supposed to be with him. Mm. Okay. So he should be able to respect the Lord. No. I'll, I'll come back to you, Samuel. I'll, I'll come back to you. Derek, you've been listening. All right? Some are saying that this is a slap on Nigeria. A serving senator, believe it or not, is in incarceration. One time deputy senate president is in incarceration. Nobody is talking about how to spring the jail by following the due process because of you know his personality in nigeria they are talking about 40 properties of his 
being forfeited, I mean, what can you make out of all this? You see, the rule of law is clear and well established. Mm. You cannot enforce illegality. Yeah. You cannot put something on nothing and expect it to stand. You cannot give what you don't have. A query model for, uh, goes foul on all these three fundamental principles of law. Yeah. First of all, he tricked a young boy to the UK to arrest his organ. If a Kuremado are giving this boy money, pay the low sum of amount in the boy's account, do you think the story would have been what it is today? You want to trick him, arrest his organ, and push him on the, to the streets. And the boy became wise, and he threatened to you know, deport the boy. So that is for that. Then, over the years, it is alleged that a Kuremado has illegally acquired properties abroad using fake companies, using prizes here and there to acquire properties abroad and all over Nigeria. He has two very uh, 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 choice properties in the UK. He has three in the United States. He has nine in the UAE, that's the guy. He has 15 choice properties in Abuja. He has 10 in Enugu, where it comes from. He has one in Lagos, a total of 40 properties. And it is said that all of them are in, were, were, were allegedly acquired, allegedly mm. acquired from proceeds of fraud. Mm. That means you have other properties that can be traced directly to its uh, legitimate income. This is what I keep saying. All this greed, all this greed that some leaders of this country suffer from, I wonder what would be the solution to this sickness of greed that some of us suffer from. Now, we have an opportunity as leaders of this country to better the lives of people that we should pretend over. But no, alas, what we want to do is to continue to keep money, is to continue to amass wealth, wealth that ourselves, our children, and our children's children cannot even spend. We have an opportunity to write our names in gold to live a good life and to better the lives of people that have entrusted us with the responsibility of leading them. No, we will not do that. Most of our leaders, or some of our leaders, are interested, like I said, in keeping money. This is very unfortunate. It is unfortunate. That is why I was in support of Fuike empowering 200 people. Because the money can also would have been used to acquire properties Illicitly. And maybe after a long time, yes, they will discover. Some they will not even discover. And why will I go against Gwen and not decide to spend on it? I will not, even though it's not from my party. It's not in the same political party <laughs> as myself. So I will say that I am glad that the United Kingdom, where the first case is of organ investing that we is facing. Equipment. They are is facing. They are a country that tends to follow the rule of law and the principle of uh, right. uh, 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 for prosecution, okay. as it ought to be. So yeah. if by now he is still having that, uh, he is still having that challenges over there, and another one has come to slam me, well, maybe it is the end of his political career. Mm -hmm. Who knows? But I'm sure if he has lived a good life, if he has been generous, all of this problem would not have befallen him. Over now to you, Ojo, you, you, you've heard both of their opinions and views. Some are saying that had it been that he was a senator from a certain ethnic group in Nigeria, it wouldn't have gotten to this level. How true is this? No, that is not true because uh, <clears throat> Ikwe Kuremadu uh, went to the UK for his own personal business. Mm. He didn't went there for a national assignment, so I don't see anything, any reason why Nigeria government should get involved. Because this is um, the case that is before everybody or before the British government is a case of uh, organ investing and mm -hmm. all that. And every society has their own way of um, uh, prosecuting uh, offenders. Mm -hmm. But be that as it may, as it may uh, I feel for him because uh, we're talking about a child, someone's child. Uh, the other day I, I saw it online uh, that uh, Davido lost his son. And I, I, I pray he, he comes out of from yeah. that pain. So a father or a mother seeing 
your child helpless will go any length to help that child out. But I still don't feel, I don't know how to put it because it, uh, Nigeria, has, we've, we've, been, uh, we've been practicing democracy since 1999. Mm -hmm. And I guess that's about 23 years. And Ike Kuremado have been in the Senate for 20 years. He has been in the Senate for 20 years. If Ike Kuremado, Ike Kuremado and his gangs were truthful to Nigerians, they had these um, good plans for us, 20 years would have been enough for, for, for him to have built a, a good hospital where, where will, um, kidney transplants will take, will take place. place. But because he did not need any kidney, he didn't know uh, a day will come whereby someone mm. close to him will, yeah, will, be, will be a victim. Mm. If, he, they had, if he and his gang has, uh, probably had built a, a world-class hospital whereby kidney patients will be, will be treated here, mm. I don't see any reason why he would have gone to the UK with his child to get the best treatment there. And going to the UK, it will be treated by Nigerian doctors, Nigerian nurses, chased out of this country by um, Ekwerimado and his gang. No, no, you, 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 you can't say that because the ex sector, no, because the ex sector <coughs> has been so bastardized that all our best brains has left the shores of this nation. So he caused this own problem to his own self because if they are fixed, our country, uh, I don't think they would have gone there. And in the UK, their system is very straightforward. Mm -hmm. Do you know if that boy was to be in Nigeria, that boy would have been in Kujé prison by now? Yes. Rotting there. They wouldn't even yeah. charge him. He would just be there till probably, and if he's to talk, he may just get, uh, maybe, uh, they'll just execute him. Mm -hmm. He would have been in jail by now. His family would have been in jail because Look at the kind of person he he messed with, but you know the UK is not the, is not is not a banana republic, mm. and so I I, I guess he is his own problem. All he right. causes it to his own self. All right. Well, uh, Samuel, you said it caused his own problem, but is it not right for a man to be attacked in his weak state? Due to the fact that he is, uh, you know, he's been there for almost twenty years or there about from your own calculation, mm. and he's having this trouble. Uh, is it right for someone from his own constituent talking about the same parties in the territorial district to start telling the court to declare his seat vacant? Listen, uh, it is politics. Mm. And you remember, governance, there's no vacuum. There should be no vacuum in governance. In as much as Ikoro Madu right now has spent over six months, now going to six months, if I'm not wrong, yeah. in the jail, in the British jail. That means also that the constituency he is representing is lacking representation for that past six months in the National Assembly, yeah. which is vacuum of power. What would they benefit the impact that would have come to his people for representing properly there would be a disadvantage. So if anybody that feels he's responsible and that feels that he's capable, that he feels that he's supposed to be the next to be there, Maybe by venture of he was the next in the line of the electoral mm. procedure or in the party next of line, he has the right to seek for no vacuum in governance. So let us not look at it as a selfish move. Mm. Let us not look at it as a wickedness. Let us not look at it as an attack. No. Because if you are saying so, you are also not telling us the Nigerian government that is also telling him, tell us how you got all these properties also attacking because he's in a weak point. Mm. No. We need to say, which, means, which I want to interpret. If the big masquerade don't, if the big juju don't, they kill. Small, small juju will come to the general. Okay, we die. <laughs> <laughs> so the smoke fire had already started. Yes. Hmm. And now people are now asking questions. Petitions are now coming up, hmm. whether from the UK, from the US, that now lead to this trouble of property corruption now. And if you imagine with 
Maji Busi, the property my brother just ca counted now. I think we should be talking almost a trillion. Mm -hmm. What? And what does it cost, as my brother said, a standard, modern you, uh, hospital to be able to carry out these operations in Nigeria? Because he was having it in Enugu State, in Anabra State. Enugu is from Enugu. Enugu. In Enugu State. Not even the doctor will not even travel. Of now. course. They would have not even, in the first place, traffic anybody. All you need to do, align with the family, do what you have to do, seek a comfort life for the boy. It is done in Europe too. All right. So it is not that it, what he was about doing is a crime, mm. per se. Mm. It is done every day. People travel out from Nigeria to India to do all this transplant, a lot of other things. I think I said, it is normal. But the way he did it, mm. and to his own position, is what led to the stamp. All right. So it's his own cause of his own. It's accident. Accident of his own misfortune. Yes. Okay. In now. any way you look at it. All right. Oh, 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 that, that same issue of someone saying that, look, declare his seat vacant, put me in there. Uh, morally speaking, or should we forget about morality right now, talk about politics like what Ara said? No, we should talk about the rule of law. Mm. The electoral law is clear. I think after 180 days. 81 days. Eh? Yeah. 181 days. After 181 days, and you are absent from the seat. Mm. Your seat, seat is supposed to be this. Right. And I think 90 days later, election ought to have been conducted yeah. to fill that vacancy. Mm. So there's no vacuum in government. Mm. If um, it is proper All right. that after this time. You just hold on. I want to go for it. But when we return, you continue with your explanation. 181 days, 180 days. After 90 days, we'll take a look at it because right now, believe it or not, the man definitely is in hot waters. So Don't go away. We'll be right back. TMI, every opinion counts. Thank you so much for staying tuned. If you just join us, this is TMI. I'm about to commence our descent on this particular discussion segment. E.K. Ekoromado Odeo matters arising. Well, would you, Derek, go ahead, emphasize your point for quality rap on the yeah, show? I'm saying that uh, mm. we should stop these sentiments. Mm. We should stop this sentiments of um, making blue to become black. Mm. If any individual runs foul of the law, let that individual face it. The electoral law is clear as to the duration of uh, time an individual will be absent from the National or State Assembly, mm. wherein a supplementary election will be conducted. It is 100 and 81 days. Mm. Once any individual is absent from the assembly for 181 days, then uh, an, uh, an election should be conducted to fill that vacuum. Mm. We cannot, because of one individual's problem, personal problem, then not leave up to 5 million people or 200 mi 2 million people of a constituency to be without representation in their constituency. So if anybody has written a petition to that effect that they should conduct another election, in as much as it is supported by the Electoral Act or the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, mm -hmm. then we should not waste time. The, uh, you know, yes, the option should be exercised so that people will not be disenfranchised, disenfranchised in their constituency. It's as simple as that. Mm -hmm. And All right. clear as it goes. Right, Samuel, some people say that this must be nemesis. And for one to start having these attacks here and there, it's like something else is beneath it. What do you have to say about it? There's nothing behind it, Wilson. Mm. It's other than greed. Mm. There's no other than any other thing. Let me tell you, Wilson. When you, when you stay too long somewhere as a boss, mm. it is a little kid that's going to remove you as a boss. Mm. It's a mini I just put it in English. English. When you stay too long somewhere, as a boss, it's a time to call it a wrap. You have served this country 20 years. What has, are your, what are your uh, scorecards mm. in Enugu State? What are the infrastructural development you have been able to draw from the federal to Enugu State? 
other than you will be accumulating wealth for personal gains. So definitely it's a nemesis of his own doing. That's why I told you before, I said, it is a God's punishment mm -hmm. for whatever sins he has committed that it's not well too known to us, but popularly spread in the social media. But we all know behind every rumor, there are elements of truth. Mm -hmm. So it should focus, it should face its cause. In UK, it's not like in Nigeria where you can settle the, the judiciary, you can settle this, all these lawyers to be bringing technicalities. Because technicality is the biggest problem of Nigerian court. Mm -hmm. Why the judges do not have way forward and have way backward. Mm -hmm. But in the UK, there's no technicality planning. Mm -hmm. Like you were saying, why was nobody uh, trying to work for, does not have lawyers? Yeah, highly lawyers. That's mm -hmm. standing at the I heard last night about six lawyers. Should I come and join the lawyers? Mm. Or we see, do you want to join the lawyers to fight for him? <laughs> or should the, the media houses now join for somebody that committed a crime? We saw all how Ibori also as it went. Ibori was locked up there for more, more than one year plus. Mm. But yes, because of he committed a crime, it was proven that he committed a crime. He was kept there. He was a former governor, irrespective of the position. Mm. But in Nigeria, we have this mentality who is already in positions. They have the cabal's connections. Mm. They have the cabal of the judiciary, they have the cabal of the legislature, they have the cabal of the executive. Mm. With that, they always know how to pull themselves out of troubles. If it was in Nigeria, and as I said before, he would have been long sitting in his own house, and really Nemesis would have been following the boy, not yes. him. All right. But God has turned it against the other way around. The Nemesis should be with him, mm. should face the cause of the law, and whatever comes out of it, if it's sincere, that he was found not guilty, he will be released, I know, okay. and he will be compensated by the British government. Good All right, thank you so much. Uh, Ojo, you have the last line in this question because our time is up. What else do you have for A.K. Koremado, politicians, sitting or non-sitting governors or senators let's, or let's just Let's just pray he comes out from this problem mm. because he risks uh, a life sentence mm. with the Modern Day Slavery Act of the UK 2015, he risked a life sentence. And life sentence? Yes. Yeah. And then um, he, he was arrested his wife, along with his wife and the doctor that was supposed to do the, the transplant. Do the transplant. Mm -hmm. You know, this, uh, these are our big men in this part of the world. The, the way they, they treat the, the masses is somehow. Mm -hmm. Now, you, we, we saw the other day uh, Idris Abdul Karim. Mm -hmm. uh, he had a similar problem. But do you know his wife? volunteered mm. to donate the kidney okay. for him. But Ike Kurema, Ike Kurema do has family. His wife also has family. So in those family members, there was nobody mm. that could match up with his daughter's um, uh, uh, kidney. kidney. So he had to look for a homeless kid. That's where the problem is even, even is right now. Because So for now, <clears throat> uh, I just, my advice for uh, politicians is they should come back home you see that's the reason why we need to rebuild this nation because if this if this nation uh, fall we, we also fall down we fall along with it, uh, we fall with it because if they had built uh, hospitals in this country I don't think it will have the problem is having over there. and if you look at the our, our politicians or I don't know if it's the black race that have this problem how can one man have about 40 houses what are you doing with Why? it? To me, that's not even an investment. That's mm. not an investment because if you tell me, if you are to calculate the money used in buying those buildings, those properties, mm. is let's say it, we are talking about trillions. Trillions. And Ike Koromado would die. It would not make the money used in buying, acquiring those properties. I went to Bubaba. Well, well, he will not die. He, he, no, no, he, he no, no. Not I mean, die. definitely we will all die. Yeah. And when I went to Boba, I went to Bubaba mm. yesterday. Mm. Someone took me to this... Um, uh, door companies, what's oh, right. yeah. door companies, and I was, I was. I, I, do you know these Chinese people? I, I, and I well, said, amazed yes, about I was it. amazed. Thank I you. Said, I said to myself, I said, a black man will not invest in this kind of business. Thank Instead you. Keep buying houses, houses everywhere. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Our time is up. I know people have so much to say about this, but you know what we have to do this season and all that. Gentlemen, thank you. Derek, appreciate you. Uh, Ojo, thank you so, so much. Thank Aras, you much. thank you for, for this. Well, that's it on today's edition of This Morning on ITV. Thank you so much for being a part of it. See you next week Sunday, God willing. Bye for now. Thank you very Bye. much.